This is code.org, CS Discoveries. Unit 2, which is their web development unit, Lesson 10, Styling Text with CSS, and I'm on Part 9, Fonts and Style. Let's see what we're doing here. Underlining. Find the code in the style sheet that makes the H1 tag underlined. Okay, so this is the HTML document. Where's my H1 stuff, though? Is that? Yep, there's an H1 tag. Is that the only H1? It might be, since it's the, yep. Okay, so I need to find, I'm going to go over here to the style sheet. And now I need to find that makes the tag underlined. Okay, H1's there, right? Yeah. Tech, oh, I bet it's this. Tech, okay, underlined. Change the text decoration and see which one you like. Ooh, decisions. All right, let's get rid of that. And see, choose from underline, overline. What the heck's an overline? And notice it pops up, so if you want to use this to make sure you spell stuff right, I can just click it. Ooh, I lost my semicolon. That's critical. Whoa, I don't even know that existed. If yours doesn't refresh automatically like mine did, you can always hit refresh and save. And then, oh, I think I already tried line through. Let's see. Mmm, that looks crossed out, though. I want to do overline. Make sure, make sure, make sure you don't delete that colon like I did at first. Cool. Okay, and then add a text decoration f rule for H3 tags. That's an H3 element. All the blue is. So here's this. Okay, let's start typing text decoration. Oh, um, oh, why isn't it? Ah, text Oh, can I scroll down on this? Look at all my options. Oh, I guess I'm going to just have to, okay. Decor, oh, there we go. Text decoration. I'm just going to click on what they have. And then I'm going to do, well, let's use underline for that one, actually. And then make sure, make sure, make sure, semicolon. If yours doesn't pop, refresh and save. Cool. And now all of those subheadings, all of those H3 tags have an underline. Neat. Great, let's keep going.